I just want to say, I can be a famous rapper, you know what I'm saying? Like, January, yeah, yeah. February, oh, March, uh, April, May, and June. Uh, uh. So I'm here with Orange is the New Black, two cast members, mm -hmm. Danielle Brooks yes. and Leah Delaria. Mm. How are you guys? Lovely to meet you. It's really nice to meet you. We're good. We're great. We're, we're awesome. I I've been seeing you guys interacting behind and you guys are <laughs> having a great time. Yeah. So the, the show, there's a lot of diversity, very multicultural. You guys as actors, how has the show's diver diversity enrich your lives. Wow. Oh, that's really uh, nice. I think it's just allowed me to understand that I'm perfect just the way that I am, you know? Because when you're an actor and you're just stepping into this business, you are trying to figure out what do people like, what do they not like, and when you don't see a representation of yourself on television, you feel like you're not enough and you're actually not what they want. So being on a show like this that has allowed us to embrace who we are has been just sets me at ease and, and makes me understand that I'm just fine. And, um, and I hope that other people that see me, see Leah, see all of the other characters feel that way about themselves too, that you know, we can start movements and understand that you know, we, we're good. We don't have to change for anybody, especially in a world that makes you feel like you're wrong for having a little extra, <laughs> or, you know, for not wearing lipstick or whatever that might be, you know. It's been really cool. Good. That was such a great answer. I'm not even going to add to it. It was awesome. That's good. That's good. That's good. It was awesome. And for you guys, in this season, how has your character evolved this season? A lot, because as we know, it has been announced, V is dead. <laughs> so. V is dead, long live V. She's dead. So that just is a lot for Tacey to deal with and trying to figure out how to maneuver when you're not being manipulated. You know, that was her mom, you know, the only person that she thought that really loved her. And so she's trying to figure out how to deal with it. And then she's got these crazy hoodlums that she hangs out with. I just <laughs> need to get it together. And she, they, we all trying to figure it out, you know, how to survive in prison. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and for Boo, I think it's about um, what I love about this show and what uh, they are continuing to do in this season, which is to me quite amazing, is this incredibly positive portrayal of a butch lesbian. You just never see that. And they're always presented as stupid, mm. you know, like really dumb, as truck drivers, as uh, beating up their girlfriends, uh, getting in bar fights, you know, that you never see that positive betrayal. And, you know, Boo is not only smart, she's the smartest woman in that prison. And she, and she doesn't, she's not, she says it, I'm a lover, not a fighter. She's a, you know, she's a, a really kind of an interesting three-dimensional character. And you never see that with a butch lesbian. So that, and we're going to see even more of that in season three. It's very exciting for me. Well, thank you so much, guys. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. People think all we do is have lesbian sex and strip searches and naked cat fights in the shower. We also do other things. <laughs>